What is good, Ape Nation? It's your boy Stock J back with another video. And in this video, we're going to be talking about the one and only AMC stock and why I'm super bullish for the somewhat near term and long term futures, despite it being in the red right now. I'm also going to be talking about what on earth is going on with the Federal Reserve, as we have some very big pieces of news that are coming out that could definitely affect the market and AMC. I'm also going to uncover something that many people have found as they have calculated that there are about 11 billion AMC shares that were shorted quite recently. And I'm going to talk about whether this is legitimate, what does this mean for AMC, and what does this mean? for amc going forward now before i say anything about synthetics or amc share price i do have to mention some very important things first first off i'm not a financial planner guys this is all for educational and entertainment purposes only and also if you guys can please smash the like button if you want to see more videos like this it not only benefits me but this entire ape community as a whole and the last thing is if you guys can please check out the mumu link down below in the description if you do sign up for mumu you're not only going to qualify for up to five free stocks each with up to three thousand five hundred dollars but you're also going to qualify for free free real-time level 2 data for US stocks. So once again, you'll get free money if you simply sign up with the link below. And with that out of the way, guys, let's get on with the video. So AMC is currently in the red right now. Obviously, it was down about 10%, at least at the time of recording this. And we're in like the low $20 range, right? We're trading below these exponential moving averages. However, guys, it's nothing to be worried about, in my opinion, because the price does not matter. I'm going to repeat that many times. The price does not matter. The shorts have not covered their positions. So it doesn't matter where they bring this thing down to. It doesn't matter how much manipulation they're doing. It does not matter, in my opinion. Now, the thing about AMC share price is it, I don't necessarily know if it's trading with the market, guys. There are many times where AMC resembles the market. There are other times where this thing has been in the green and the market has been in the red. So it's resembled both positive and negative betas many many times now if you don't count those external moments where it ran up in like january and june it would look more like a positive beta stock but then if you actually you know account for the outliers you still have to account for them it's basically a negative beta stock so it's really hard to really look at amc from that perspective but the thing that's going on right now is the market is in the red because of this that's coming out the Federal Reserve has some very interesting reports that just came out as they're talking about a balance sheet reduction. So what's basically going on is they reported that there's higher inflation, there's more money in their balance sheet, and there's also like unemployment is actually uh, going down right now. But the thing is, the employment levels are not the same as before the whole pandemic ended up starting. So they're more hawkish right now, and they're planning on making some very big changes in a much faster manner. So they're tapering at a faster rate. And on top of that, guys, the Fed has been talking about raising rates much sooner than we may have anticipated, which means that the correction of the market may start a little bit sooner. So if you look at the 10 year Treasury yield rates, as you guys can see, it's starting to go up quite soon. And and as it's going up, guys, this is what's probably going to cause the market to start to correct very, very soon. And I also want to talk about this right here. As you guys can see, China's Evergrande, they've been delaying on many payments. But the crazy thing is, guys, they so to make this simple, they own money to people overseas and they they started delaying those payments. Now they're doing it to people in China onshore bond payments, guys. They're in really, really big trouble. And this is very similar to the layman situation of 2008. This in turn is going to affect AMC. All this data will affect AMC. And here's how I think it's going to play out. So and this is something that someone theorized. They said that AMC's share price, it's actually truly a negative beta stock. However, it's very, very manipulated, right? And these, these shorts, these hedge funds, they try to make it seem like it's running with the market to de-incentivize many institutions from buying into this play. They're trying to make it seem like when the market's red, AMC is going to be in the red too. However, guys, I don't think that's going to last for too long. So what's going to play out, guys, is eventually the S&P, the S&P 500, many, many tech stocks, they're going to start drawing like crazy we're going to see a lot of red coming up in the market in my opinion because of the Evergrande situation because federal fund rates are going up because of all these different things so as a result amc should start to run up now the thing about amc running up is how is it going to run up in order for it to run up guys there has to be fomo there has to be a lot of people holding and a lot of shorts have to start covering so the question is to what extent are they covering is it just a million shares is it 10 million is it 100 million is it billions well let's just look at this right here so we see ortex data right ortex is always saying oh the the short interest is only 17 percent. it's only 18 percent." and my answer to that is is it really that low is the short interest really at 17 percent when amc just dropped like 10 percent yesterday does that make any sense guys 
To me, it does not. I think the true short interest is much, much, much higher. And that's the reason why I see a lot of people calculating things like this. Look at this right here. This person on Twitter calculated this. They stated that 2021 short data is updated. 11.288 billion shares are shorted and 4.795 uh, uh, billion shares are not reported. Hashtag AMC, hashtag AMC apes, AMC to the moon. So this is basically the data that they got from... Uh, the chart exchange.com now i tried to look this up i couldn't quite find it so that doesn't necessarily mean it's true or not but i want to tell you guys this okay when i look at this data guys this is just potential evidence of something that we already may have uncovered and that's the fact that there are billions and billions and billions of synthetics now here's the thing about this data can I promise you it's real? And the answer is no, I can't promise you all the numbers are legit. However, there's a lot of merits behind data like this because there's so many people from all different directions who are coming to the same conclusion that there are crazy, crazy things going on. Their data basically calculates all the different volumes that were traded over the past year and so on and so forth. And AMC's actual you know, volume was about 28 billion, right? And then out of that, what was reported that, would, that was shorted would be 46.91% of the volume volume or about 11 billion but then about 4.795 billion were unreported in just 2021 alone so the thing about amc is this whole shorting thing this whole you know manipulation this has most likely been going on for years so I can promise you, like I said before, I can promise you that there are billions of synthetics. I don't truly know how many there are. There could be tens of billions. There could be billions upon billions. But at the same time, one thing I do know is that there's crazy manipulation and it's very probable. It's very probable that there are billions upon billions upon billions of synthetics because look, this data does not just stretch out for 2021. It's been continuing since 2020, since 2019, we're seeing tons and tons and tons of unreported shares so it's very suspicious it's very weird and i definitely think that this is an indicator that there may have to be billions of synthetics that are bought back but at the very least guys we know it's around 100 million just based off ortex data but obviously that's not completely accurate it could easily be much higher so my argument is this at the end of the day guys nothing has changed at the end of the day, there are hundreds of millions, if not billions of AMC shares that have to be covered. It may even be 11 billion as shown from this right here. My, my main point is it does not matter where AMC is right now. Okay, this thing could drop to 20. It could drop to 15. I don't care. I really don't care because the more it drops and I'm not giving financial advice, the more they drop it, I'm going to be buying and buying and buying. And on top of that, I know that eventually they have to cover these numbers. I don't care how long it takes. They have to cover and it's going to bring this thing to the absolute moon. Nothing in the play has changed. We're used to red days, guys. So do not lose faith. And that's another reason why I would tell you tell you one thing, and that is I'm not going all in on AMC. I'm not investing everything I have into it because at the end of the day, there's a risk in any play you make and you shouldn't go all in in one stock. So when it comes to AMC, guys, I'm just putting money in there. I'm prepared to lose all the money, even though I, I definitely know I'm not. And I'm not basically using my rent money or anything like that, mortgage money or anything like that to put into AMC. I'm simply just putting money in there like as if it's a high interest savings account. And I'm just waiting it out because I know eventually this thing is going to run. The shorts are just trying to shake people off. This is just another strategy that they keep on using. They're trying to delay it as much as they can. And then one of the main reasons they may be bringing the price down is the call options chain right over here. They're trying to bring as many calls out of the money as possible. If I zoom in right here, look at the 21st of uh, uh, January, right? 508,000 are currently out of the money. They want to keep it that way, right? They want to keep the price down. So whatever they do, guys, it doesn't matter. I don't care they, how many crazy tactics they use. They can't do this forever, and they still have to cover billions, maybe hundreds of millions, if not billions upon billions upon billions of shares. So the play has not changed. Remain calm, cool, and collected, and just wait it out, guys. Do not give up, because I'm not quitting, and I know the apes are not too. We have the advantage. So I thank you for listening. Have a great rest of the day, and AMC is looking very, very good, in my opinion, because eventually they have to cover those positions. I thank you, and peace out.